We knew we had an excellent team and an excellent group of returners. People thought, unless there's some injuries, this is going to be a very good 1985 football team. We were uh, ranked for the first time in a long time in a preseason top 10. There was this big, big, and I mean big question mark among the state, will the Hawkeyes be number one? I think I was getting some therapy for my leg and someone said, hey man, we got it. We're ranked number one. Have you ever before been the coach of a number one ranked team? Only in my dreams. <laughs> made people feel good. We're number one, and emotionally, we needed that. The farm crisis in 1985, that was on the front page. And then you turn to the front page of the sports, and all you would see is Hawkeye football. Oh, a great catch, and a touchdown! We beat Michigan State. We beat Wisconsin. All of a sudden, you've got number one versus number two. CBS stepped in and said, they're coming to Iowa City, and they're going to be broadcasting the Iowa Hawkeye-Michigan game. You're playing Michigan, a storied program. You're ranked number one in the country. You have a national television audience. There was the expectation you were going to deliver. There are things that a farmer prays for, and one of them that they never pray for is for it to rain and stop the harvest. But my husband is like, please, dear God, let it rain on Saturday so we can go to the game. The crowd filed in. It has rained heavily here this morning in Iowa City. Who could ask for anything more? We got one squad averaging 44 points a game, the other one giving up only four. I went up six hours before the game, and I rode up in the elevator with Eric Parsegian. I said, so who do you think's gonna win? And he goes, oh, Michigan's gonna win, definitely. So I said, I think that I was gonna win the game tonight. And then the doors opened to the elevator, and Eric walked out, and as he walked out, he just kind of laughed at me. You're in the stadium, and you see him walk out. I don't think Craig's knee ever stopped bouncing up and down, and I was like, stop that. You have to stop shaking your knee. And here in Iowa City, the mood is like that which precedes a heavyweight championship fight. There was a tenseness, an uneasiness, because the game was so big. The arrogance of that team started with Bo Schembechler, and you could feel that. The tension building here for the coin flip. It's a look that they gave that was like, you're not as good as we are. You haven't won as long as we've won. We're Michigan. So it's coming down to this. Robbins to punt for the Wolverines. When Bill Happel takes the punt on the fair catch, you looked at the clock, you looked at the timeouts, you looked at everything, and you said, this is it. The play calls from Bill Schneider and Hayden Fry were just, they were genius. Got a nice haul, cuts out to about the 46 yard line for another first down. It became more and more intense, particularly as the clock continued to run down. And at that point, as a defensive player, you're really thinking to yourself, well, we're really not going to have to do anything. We're just going to have to rely on these guys to take it all the way. Aiden Fry and the Hawkeyes, it's a nervous two seconds. It's almost like you were waiting for your first child to be born. All the oxygen was sucked out of the air, and we all just had a collective, uh... It was so loud that it got quiet. Ball is snapped, the kick is up, and it's long enough. I didn't have to look up. I knew when I hit it on my foot and the sound of it, it's good. I think we were on the field before that it went through, 
And all I can remember is just darkness because there are so many people jumping on top of us, not just players, but fans. I know students rush fields all the time, but there was just a craziness. It was like, holy cow, Iowa City was on fire. Look at that.